this is the Art Fest. We're rolling it around Atlanta and I wanted to talk a little bit about our philosophy and what it is that we're doing at Herbalista. We try our best to make herbal healthcare affordable and accessible and the easiest way we found to do this is through mobile medicine. These little mobile clinics have allowed us to not only keep our overhead costs down but also means that we can go to people where they are. It allows us to reach people that are a lot of times being left behind by our current medical system. So originally all we had was this bus. We'd make regular stops at regular stations and then over time we realized the need to develop a couple other mobile clinics as well. Offering free clinics is something that gives you know someone a great sense of joy and purpose. It's a chance to, to really serve. It's a chance to meet people and work with them in a place where money is not a factor, which is so refreshing. But in some ways that's also a lie because free clinics aren't actually free. They do take a lot of resources to put together. Obviously, money is kept out of the equation between you know, the visitor to the clinic and the person serving at that clinic, which is so wonderful to not have that worry added on top of whatever illness or whatever um, difficulty someone's already going through. On the other side of things, when we're getting things together to be able to run a clinic, that's when we do have to think a lot about resources. Herbal care is not something that people have access to in this country. It's something that is desperately needed. The more that we can encourage local pop-up first aid clinics to start, the better. I hope that every town and every city has some type of affordable herbal care available for it. things about all the programs I think maybe one particular program Herbalista has is interesting to somebody they might be interested in coming to the fair and taking a class or they might be an herbalist in training and want to participate in the herb cart so they have a little more clinical uh, experience and practice and what happens is they come in on one program and then they get involved in so many other places so we definitely have people who uh, might have been interested in the growing side of things and then they get their taste for herbalism and then they're you know coming to the health fairs and you know learning about all these other aspects and it's really nice to be able to weave a web you know just to have so many different places that people can uh, hook in and become a part of the bigger community doing this work. <laughs> 